All right, as mentioned by RMC, these referees, these officials today are uh, our French uh, officialing pair, uh, Julien Mersch and Yann Carmel. Thank you for flying over, making the trip. I think you got your coffee on my, off my desk. They're awake. They're ready. We're ready. Puerto Rico's ready. The United States is ready. The table's ready. Are you ready? Let's get this started. Puerto Rico will start in the ball in... White going left to right on your screen. Any second now. Wait for the horn. And that's it. We're underway. Puerto Rico with the ball. <laughs> Action has begun. We've got Grant center back. Left back is Sheila Gerardo. Over at left wing. We have number 22, Zulika Fuentes. Right back right now the ball, Erica Graziani. And at pivot is Sirius Garcia. And at right wing is the right Joan Vergara. We're going away. Ring around. A little broken. Puerto Rico's keeping the ball moving. Ceballos over to Gerardo. Back to Ceballos. Tries to go through. Tries to get a little while with the pass to the wing. Inside, fumble play, U.S. ball. It's in the hands of Sarah Gascon right now, who's going to uh, step in at pivot. Uh, playing center back right now for the U.S. is Emma Reddy, second generation U.S. athlete. To her right at right back is Julia Taylor. At left back is Binter Carvalho. Left wing is Maria Valone. And at right wing, we've got number 44, Aiden Nesper. All right, Valone. Tries to cross play with Carvalho. Technical fall off the foot. We're going the other way. Free throw there. It's going to be Puerto Rico's ball. Quick shot to the pivot. Ref's not going to bring it out. Shot off the post. Out number eight. And that's a goal for number eight. Joanne Vergara. 1-0. Puerto Rico. Cavallo ring around from here on second pivot in. Taylor ready. Carvalho on the left side tries to break through. Fouls are going to set up and do it over again. Carvalho tries to feed the pivot. Great defense there. From Erica Graciani. And it's going to be a free throw for the United States. Taylor. Not a lot of momentum right now in this show's office. Passive play has been called by these referees. Pass into the second pivot. Free throw only. We're going to get a yellow card to number 18, Sirius Garcia. For that defense on Maria Vallone. Quick restart. It's been a while. All right. Puerto Rico is going to extend their defense into a pretty active 5-1. Who steps there from Eden Nesper. Te another technical fall for the U.S. Puerto Rico's on the attack. Nothing there. Nothing on the secondary break. They're going to set something up. And to the pivot. That's a lot of violence. And that's a 7-meter earned by Sirius Garcia. And a yellow card to number 4, Sarah Gascon. Dr. Sarah Gascon, excuse me. I'll get yelled at. Okay. Erika Graciani scores the goal. And just like that, it's 2-0 for Puerto Rico. Not the start you want if you're a fan of the United States. It's 
So your tail right side. This attacking 5 1 seems to, seems to be giving the US some fits and getting their offense moving. Ready, left side. No foul given. They're going to break here. Through the legs. Goal scored there by Zalikwa Fuentes. And just like that, it's 3 0 in favor of Puerto Rico. Bintas, I'm sorry, not Binta. Uh, Binta is at left back. Uh, Binta's former teammate at Boston Team Handball. Uh, Bruna Liba checks into the game at pivot. So you guys go and check out the center back. We have alone. We'll start to play from the left side. Good defense there. Binta runs out of space. Free throw for the foul there. Committed by Yoan Vargada. And you guys just want to think about this one again. Drew Taylor right in the middle. Into the pivot. Save! Luxonali Carasquillo. And the quick restart and the quick goal scored there by Natalie Ceballos. And it is 4-0. 4-0 for Puerto Rico. And this U.S. team has got to get something going on offense. Still a long game ahead of us. A four-goal deficit is, is nothing at this level with these two teams that know each other so very well. Here we go. Cross court pass, no foul given. Good defense judged by the officials. Puerto Rico going the other way. Over, skip pass to the wing. It's 5 0. Goal scored there by Zalika Fuentes. It's 5 0, and that's going to be a timeout for the United States. We'll be back with you with four left to go in the first half. 5 0. And the United States must be wondering what they've got to do here. One of the problems for the U.S. so far isn't that they've taken bad shots. It's that their movement isn't creating great shots. And their play is leading to turnover after turnover. They've only taken one shot on goal. And this was a save by uh, Waxanali Carasquillo. Their offense has got to get something going because Puerto Rico is taking advantage. And this Puerto Rico team likes to take advantage off missed shots. They are not the tallest team in the world. They are not the tallest team in North America. But they are one of the most athletic, one of the fastest. And they will break on you. And the players in this Puerto Rico team, they've played with each other for they've played on the same team with each other for quite a while. All seem to have come up in the same generation, the same year. Meanwhile, this U.S. team as Maria Verlone tries to go to the middle to Julia Taylor. Blocked by the Puerto Rico defense. Free throws. Rico Fuentes with the wrap-up. This U.S. team ha has integrated a lot of new players in their team. This is Binta and Bruna's first cap. Binta Carvalho gets one in for the United States just as I say her name. Nominally plays for Boston Team Handball, lived in Chicago for a while, played for Chicago Enter. And the United States gets on the board. United States will stay in a flat 6 0 here. Not a lot of uh, threats for uh, 9 meter shots from this Puerto Rico team. Oh, beautiful skip past Lico Frances, but she loses it. Not really sure what happened on the U.S. sidelines there. Save! Carasquillo from the shot from Julia Taylor. And Puerto Rico is going to uh, take their time. Looks like the referees are talking to both the U.S. coach Julio Sainz and Nadia Ceballos. Whatever it was, it's over now. They're just playing handball. 6-0 here from the United States. 
Natalie Ceballos calling the play here for Puerto Rico. Gerardo back to Ceballos. Over to Graciani. Backcourt's just going to move for a pivot out to uh, Elizabeth Rodriguez. Over to Graciani. Graciani tries to break through. Landed free throw before the shots. No goal. But Puerto Rico will have a chance to try again. Into the pivot. Seven meter earned there by Elizabeth Rodriguez. And Erica Graziani is going to take another seven meter. Against Sophie, Sophie Fasold. Long time U.S. national team goalkeeper. And Graziani buries it. Six to one is our score. All right, Bruna's going to step out to center back. Sarah Gascon's going to go back in the pivot. Maria Velo, Benta hands it off to the Puerto Rican team. And they're breaking Ceballos down the middle. And it's a Brazil, 7-1. to one. Once again, the U.S. is just making errors on offense. Some of this caused by the Puerto Rican defense, but a lot of it by their own admission. Verón, Cavallo. Bruna tries to go through. Blocked by the Puerto Rican defender. Corner. Throw. Eden Esper will take the corner throw. Over to Bruna. Over to number 15, Emma Reddy. Pinta. Over to Maria Valone. Maria Valone. Oh, that's pretty. Goal scored there by Maria Valone. 7 to 2 is our score. Maria Valone came up and learned handball in the University of North Carolina program. I'm sure everyone in Rochester, New York is cheering her on right now. It's like Robiles Ortiz has checked in at left wing for uh, Puerto Rico. And uh, Adriana Cabrera in at right back. Ceballos to Cabrera. Tries to get it back to Ceballos. Broken up, but foul was there. No advantage. Puerto Rico will try again. Cabrera. Ceballos. Gerardo. Back to Ceballos. Pivot around. Over the left side. U.S. defense is there. Skip. Pass cross court to the wing off the post from Jaleen Maldonado and out of play. Keeper's ball. Bruna, Emma Reddy plays her handball in Norway. Back to Bruna from Boston. Julie Taylor now at left back. We have low on the wing around play. Second pivot in from the center back. This play is broken. U.S. has got to try and keep the movement going and try and salvage something here. Verone, wing around again. Back to Julia Taylor. And nothing there. Free throw. But it didn't seem like the U.S. was able to really create anything there. Going to try again here. Nesper tries to go in herself. That's going to be steps. That's going to be... At least the fifth turnover of the half so far for the United States. Puerto Rico breaking the other way. Ceballos is going to stop the secondary break. Think about it. Call something. Geraldo. Back to Ceballos. Puerto Rico right now is just going to set something up. Violent play there. Sheila Rado fouled pretty heavily. No card given by these officials. Ceballos on the left side. Tries to get around. Play on the neck. Yep, that's going to be two minutes on Brunelina. Can't grab the neck. United States, for those of you who are watching handball for the first time, and if you are, welcome. 
Uh, Bruno Liba is going to sit out two minutes, and the United States will be one player that's for the next two minutes for that foul, which was considered uh, violent and dangerous. And the uh, United States will have to defend with one fewer player. Seven meter earned there. Judges adjudicated Elizabeth Rodriguez to be through on that shot when the foul occurred. And now Natalie Ceballos will take the seven meter against Sophie Fasolt. That is Natalie Ceballos' third goal and third shots, and this is a plus six advantage to Puerto Rico, eight to two. Tiaja Stewart now checking in for the first time this game at right wing. Tiaja Stewart's a recent graduate of the United States Military Academy at West Point, currently living in Baltimore, Maryland. Ready, back to Julia Taylor, who's now playing center back. She's been all over the court so far. Over to Ready, to Taylor, to Stewart, excuse me. And they're going to call another technical fault. I'm not sure if that was out of bounds or steps. Either way, it's Puerto Rico's ball going the other way. Quick sequence of passes to the right wing, but this time Jalene Maldonado could not finish this off. Shot is wide of goal. And the United States will take their time, really try and set up, get a quality offensive sequence here. Taylor in the middle. Now the United States has to be careful here. Pivot entry pass was a little broken, free throw given. Bruna has checked back into the game. The United States is even. We are 7v7 again. I was going to say the United States has to be a little careful here because they pulled their goal with the even up their offense and offense. But that's not the case anymore. Ready? Into the pivot. Tiaja Stewart earns the 7 meter. Much better fluency here from the United States offense. It looks like Benta Carvalho is going to take the seven meters against uh, Kitsa Escobar. Goal scored here by Benta Carvalho. Eight three is your score. So we near the halfway point of this first half of competition. Puerto Rico has been the team in control and it's been through some solid defense and some unforced errors from the United States side. Puerto Rico has pulled their goalkeeper. They're playing 7v6 right now. Lots of crossing here. Ceballos over. Pull the extra player. Keep it coming on because the breakthrough is there and a shot. It is wide of goal there from Adriana Cabrera. Hey. Sorry, States is taking their time, setting up. United States is putting two circles in on the pivot right now. Bruno Liba and Sarah Gascon to try and uh, work this uh, offensive movement. Julia Taylor in the middle. Pass is deflected, but brought in by Benta Carvalho. Barging is the call. Benta is down. Refs aren't going to stop the play. Puerto Rico is going to try and take advantage here into the pivot. Refs are letting a lot go, stopping the play here. One for the uh, foul on the offensive end, but uh, we have a player down, and Benta Carvalho is still down for the United States. Following that uh, offensive foul from a few seconds earlier. Puerto Rico this game, and, and, and this is the story, Puerto Rico is 8 for 12 offensively, 66% on shooting rate. United States is 3 of 5, 60%. 60% is not bad for uh, handball at this level. The problem is they've only taken 5 shots. They have 7 
technical faults, turnovers so far this game. And they're lacking in offensive fluency so far. And, and one of the biggest offensive threats for the team is the player that's currently going to sit on the sidelines to get looked at for a bit, Benta Carvalho. Uh, the United States is going to have to try and make something work on the other side of the court. Game's back in action. Zico Fuentes over to Cetus Garcia. Lots of crossing here. Over to Graziani. Maldonado to the wing. Back to center back. No goal there from the shot from Graziani. That will go down the books as a save for Sophie Fasold. Reddy tries to find Malone. Pass was tipped. United States will have to go slow down and set something up. Eden Nespa. Reddy. Taylor. In the backcourt. Two pivots from the United States right now. Broken pass. Zuliko Fuentes. Inside. No goal. The United States will come back the other way quickly. Julia Taylor tries to find Sarah Gascon. Pass is to nowhere. And it's Puerto Rico's ball. No comment. Puerto Rico will do a bit of a line switch here. And at center back is Sheila Gerardo over the Zuliko Fuentes. Over to the wing. And the wing misses the goal. That was number 11, Alanis Benitez. Had the shot, just could not put it on target. Two pivots again. 2-4 offensive scheme here for the United States. Nespa wrapped up. Pretty much immediately by Robles Ortiz. Not even giving it a chance to play. Sarah Gascon will pop out one pivot in. Taylor. Gascon. Ready. Taylor from the middle from 10 meters out. Julia Taylor brings one back. Like Maria Vallon, Julia Taylor got her start in handball at the University of North Carolina. She currently plays in France for at least one more season. She's been in France for a couple of seasons now. See so action, Fuentes over to Arado, over to the wing. Janine, Janine Maldonado saved. Sophie Fasold, shot on goal, saved. Kitsa Escobar. Sophie Fasol tried to uh, pull one back, take advantage of the empty goal, the 7v6 that Puerto Rico's playing, two pivots in. But with seven, shot there, Zalika Fuentes. It's 9-4, keeper rushes back on. Nesper, Bruno Lima. Good movement there. Shots not on target. Rebound to Valone. Valone Taylor. The Valone save. Kitsa Escobar. <laughs> Quick foul there to stop the break from Sarah Gascon, but Puerto Rico will keep it moving. Oh, that's. I feel like we're going to see two minutes here, and we are. Yes, two minutes here to Eden Nesper. Very high defense there for Eden Nesper. I'm sure she, it wasn't intentional, but that doesn't matter if there's dangerous play. And now Puerto Rico will play with a one-player advantage. They are not pulling their keeper. They're going to switch goalkeepers as the offense moves on here. Gerardo in the middle to Zalico Fuentes. 
Robles Ortiz. Bit of crossing here. Ortiz will go on the pivot. Cinco Fuentes from the wing earns the seven. And the United States is going to make a cold keeper substitution here. Get a different look on these seven meters, these penalty shots for Puerto Rico. Erica Graciani is going to take a seven meter shot again for Puerto Rico, but this time checking in to go in goal. It's 19 year old Santa Wheeler. And Graziani scores it. Ten to four. And Puerto Rico will play the 5-1 still. Go back to the 5-1. United States is not pulling their goalkeeper. Gascon on the right side. Stopped. <laughs> By Sinomar Ortiz. Ready, Taylor, Valone. Passive play given, or passive play raised. Julius Taylor with the shot, saved by Zugaledi Soto. Puerto Rico coming back the other way. Shot there from eight meters out. And scored. By Sheila Gerardo. In the United States right now, if you're in the United States, you're trying to get momentum back. You're trying to make it to halftime with, with some positives to take away, knowing what you have to do in the second half. Pivot and Sarah Gascon defended, but fouled. But fouled. Erica Garcia said, I didn't foul her. Ref says, yes, you did. Yes, you did. Free throw here for the United States. Puerto Rico will stay in the 5-1. Tasia Stewart checks in at right wing, but goes in as a second pivot. And back out. Julie Taylor, left side. Bit of a collision there, but play continues. Bernalina, right side, scores it on the break for 11-5. Chiarado will stay in at center back. Graziani. Back to Arado. Silomar Ortiz. Play is going to start from the center. Lots of space there. Shilo Arado made that an easy save there for Sophie Fasold. United States secondary breaking the other way. Not much doing. Free throw. All right, good to see Bint uh, Carvalho is okay and back in the game at left back. Fallon to Carvalho on the left side. Ready, guarded by Azalico Fuentes. Bruno Lima right side. Fine, Sarah Gascon. Yes! Goal scored there by Dr. Sarah Gascon. Quick pass into the pivot, but held up. Carvalho, Gascon, and Lima are all there on Sirius Garcia to prevent a seven meter or a shot on goal. Graziani tries to find the wing there, but she's fouled. Bit of fair play there, and Puerto Rico will start this up again. But no, Puerto Rico will call timeout. I'm wrong. Don't mind me. Puerto Rico will call a timeout to think about it. 11 to 6 is our score in favor of Puerto Rico. In about 90 minutes, we're going to have the second game of this evening between uh, Greenland and Mexico. Really excited to see this Greenland team in action in person for the first time ever.
time out talks completed and we are back in action here Gerardo will shift over to right back with uh, Graziani in at center back Ceballos left back quick pass to the wing space was there way too easy if you're a United States fan Alanis Benitez quick goal quick goal there for the United States by Bruno Lima United States will shift now to a 5-1 of Tiaja Stewart in the point wall. Quick pass again to the wing. But this time, uh, Zuko Fuentes can't finish it. Rebound to Puerto Rico. Violent play. Seven meters earned by Sirius Garcia. And Sonam Wheeler is going to check in to try and defend Erica Graziani on this seven-meter throw. Save Son of Wheeler. <laughs> Big momentum changer there from Sana. And let's see if the US can take advantage. Cavallo, ready, Lima, Nesper. Nesper defended. Very hard there. Cavallo. We're ready to Lima. Lima on the right side. Shoots for herself. Shot is wide. Puerto Rico breaking quickly. Graziani and the Sirius Garcia. Oh my. <laughs> That was a uh, very aggressive defense there from uh, Sarah Gascon on Sirius Garcia. And the refs are going to say that it was above the board. Maybe close, maybe not, but it's only a free throw here for Puerto Rico. The United States will... I'm sorry. The United States is defending. And a 5-1. Puerto Rico will get the ball back in play. Ceballos. Cross-court pass. Over to the wing. Off the post there. And it's off Bruno Lima's foot. It's going to stay Puerto Rico's ball. The shot there from Joanne Vergar. A lot of space. Only found post. Ceballos over to the wing. Zlico Fuentes save. Sophie Fasold. Puerto Rico effectively stops the primary break. Secondary break maybe still on here. Bruna works away and breaks through. Buries it. And slowly but surely every few minutes or so the United States is working their way back into this finds the wing again over to the other wing it's Fuentes yes Goal scored there by Zawika Fuentes. It's her fourth and sixth attempts. The double wing play is pretty rare, but uh, it happened there. Puerto Rico f is finding a lot of space on the wings on this United States defense. 
And the more they can take advantage of that, probably the better it is for Puerto Rico. They're going to play a 5-1 right now. United States of America doing a bit of a shift change. Checking in for the first time today is Saga Norton. Going in as a second pivot. Maria Valone, left wing, cross to Binta Carvalho. Fouled there by Joan Vergara. Free throw for the United States. Saga Norton will restart play. Yes, we're inside the final minute now of this first half. Brenda Carvalho tries to find Saga Norton defended by Sirius Garcia. Fouled by Erica Graziani. Free throw in. Norton brings it back into ready to Carvalho. Back to ready. Ready to tail. Passive play is up to Sarah Gascon. No barging there. Passive play remains up. For those of you who don't know passive plays, I was playing in a second. But United States has got to make a play on goal. But instead, they throw it away. 27 seconds left to go in this half. Puerto Rico's going to have a chance to bring the lead back up to six. And, the, and Natalie Ceballos is calling the play. Fuentes on the left wing. Over to Arado to Ceballos. A lot of space. So much space. And Natalie Ceballos brings it in. And I says, quick restart, Julia Taylor. Shot is high. And that's going to be it for our first half. Score is, unless I am very mistaken, 14 to 8 in favor of Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico finding a lot of space on the wings, a lot of space for breakthroughs offensively. And the United States with 10, at least 10, I should say, turns in the first half. Their offense is not where it needs to be to get a result so far. And we'll be back with you in 15 minutes for the start of the second half.
second half of action uh, coming to you from beautiful. All right, we are back with the second half of action here coming from you from the beautiful town of Elgin, Illinois, United States versus Puerto Rico. United States down six and trying to work their way back. Broken play to the pivot. Rhea Valone wide open on the wing, passing Julia Taylor. Goal scored. There, my but Rhea Valone. Puerto Rico, in case you're just tuning in, Puerto Rico dominated that uh, first half through a number of good defensive plays and finding open space whenever they wish on the wings. Active defense in the United States. Natalie Ceballos comes in. United States once barging. Offensive foul there, but free throw only. And Natalie Ceballos playing center back over to number 23. Shot. Oh, that's going to be uh, two minutes there. Yeah. Elizabeth Rodriguez was fouled from behind on the shot on the arm by Emma Reddy. And that's... That's dangerous play. And the United States will be down a player for the next two minutes. Playing at a flat 5-0. Space is wide open there in the wing. Zika Fuentes right to the head area. Save Sophie Fasold. United States is not pulling their goalkeeper. They're going to try and attack this Puerto Rican 5-1. 5v6 here. Empty crossing in the back. Carvalho to Julia Taylor, who's been all over the place. Taylor, swing pass over to Eden Nesper. Julia Taylor from the middle, 9-meter side. Shot wide. Shot was tipped, and it's a corner. Taylor tries to find Sarah Gascon on the pivot entry pass. Free throw given. Taylor quickly back to Gascon. And uh, Lisbeth Rodriguez and Adrian Cabrera were ready for it. No foul given there. Stolen by Puerto Rico. Goal scored there by Jalene Maldonado off the break off another technical fault. The, at least the 11th of the game here for this United States team. Puerto Rico extending their defense here. A bit of a asymmetrical 4-2. With the Cavallo coming on an attack. They're going to give two minutes here for simulation to that recent goal score for Puerto Rico, number 15. Yeah. Denise Maldonado. I, I don't think the issue was that there was contact there. I definitely saw contact. I think the contact was exaggerated. At least that's what the referee saw. And now Puerto Rico is down a player. And with that increased space, Eden Nesper takes advantage, gets her first goal on the board. And right now, for one of the first times all game, the United States has a player advantage. It's 6v5, 6v6 actually. Puerto Rico has pulled their goalkeeper, Fuentes. Over to uh, number two here. Taken away. Stolen. Julia Taylor. Free shot on goal from 28. Nelly Ceballos just can't get to it. And Julia Taylor makes this a five goal game. All right, the U.S. bench just said something to the technical table. I think they were complaining about illegal substitution. The technical table right now is talking to our referee. 
And it looks like it will be two minutes to number eight from Puerto Rico for an illegal substitution. Is it number eight? There's some discussion about which player it is. Number eight is saying it is her. That is Joanne Vergara. She's saying the two minutes is nine. I made the error. I made the mistake. I have the score of 15 to 11 right now. Uh, the United uh, Puerto Rico is going to keep possession of the ball because the ball is not considered to be in play. And right now, Puerto Rico's got to play 6 v 4. Natalie Ceballos made space for herself, but the pass just wasn't there. Six, I don't know what's going on. Zico Fuentes has stopped the offensive opportunity there for the United States. And this is, and the more time Puerto Rico uh, separates, the closer they get to 6v5 and 6v6. But not before Maria Vallone can put one away. That is her third goal on four shots. And there's two notable things going on here. One, that the United States is taking more shots. And two, that the United States is making more shots. Okay, Zuriko Fuentes left to right. Tries to find number 23 through. That is Elizabeth Rodriguez, but never mind that. Save. Sophie for Souls. That's her sixth save of the game. They're going to say, uh, Nice Sabato stole that right to Zuriko Fuentes. Fast break. Save. I don't know what's going on right now. Yeah, she could have picked that up after the save from Sophie Fasold. But Puerto Rico uh, maintains possession. It's now 6v5. United States is going to play a 5-1. And Puerto Rico's got to find a way to get the momentum back. Nice about it. Tries to go in for herself. Can't do it. Pass over to the wing. Salico Fuentes goes near post and scores. That's her fifth goal of the afternoon in a four goal advantage for Puerto Rico. And now the teams are even. Puerto Rico survived that uh, disadvantage to them. Not losing too much of their lead. The teams are even now. For alone on the left side. Switch pass to Carvalho. It's not there. Broken play into Bruno Lima. Bruno Lima turns somehow, but there is a save. Roxanali Carrasquillo, and that is her third save. Okay, they're going to say it's a free throw to the U.S. here. Into Carvalho, shot blocked. And that's going to be two minutes on Bento Carvalho. You cannot impede the thrower on a free throw. And now the U.S. is going to be down to a player advantage again. Puerto Rico's keeping their goalkeeper in goal. They're only going to play 6v5 here. Gerardo, Ceballos, oh my, oh my, that's unlucky for Sophie Fasol, she was there, but Natalie Ceballos cannot miss, five goals and five shots for Natalie Ceballos. Sarah Gascon on the right side. Over to Eden Nesper. Eden Nesper to Julia Taylor in the middle. Tries to bust through the middle. Fouled by Zalico Fuentes. Free throw given. No advantage given. Coach Julio Sainz is asking for solutions. And the United States has 
corrected the issue so far, but they've got to do more. So the Taylor finds some space herself, saves Catasquillo. Secondary break here. Lots of space. Natalie Ceballos earns the seven on Julia Taylor. Julia Taylor had to try to stop her somehow. But Natalie Ceballos, just too fast. Santa Wheeler coming in to defend this seven meter for the United States. Well, for Puerto Rico. Now Lisa Bios to take it. Save! Santa Wheeler and now Lisa Bios has finally missed this game. And now Santa Wheeler will take her spot on the bench after a job well done. Sophia So will check me in, but right now it's about the U.S. offense and if they can solve this 5-1 defense of Puerto Rico. Robles Ortiz in the pivot. Actually, it's more of a 3-2-1 with the uh, twos, the backs, coming out well in advance. Falone, too ready to Carvalho. Taylor. Taylor right to left. Tries to find Reddy's broken up. No foul given. Fast break here. Little sloppy, but Lisbeth Rodriguez pulls through. Scores the goal. And this half. And this half started plus six in favor of Puerto Rico. And after the last ten minutes, it is still plus six to Puerto Rico. Not an insurmountable lead again. But the longer Puerto Rico can keep the status quo the better the odds they'll come away from this game of a victory. Falone, Binta, save Carrasquillo. Barging is the call there on uh, Lisbeth Rodriguez. Wild pass there, save by Saga Norton. Captain it was out? It may have been out. Probably was out. Refs didn't see it. You know what? Refs didn't see it. Hey, hey, everyone in here has better eyes than I do. Everyone in this room has better eyes than I do, but... You know what? Never mind that. We have an illegal substitution called by the technical bench. And that's going to be a two-minute penalty and a loss of possession for the United States. That two minutes is on Pinta Carvalho. Now, some of you may be asking, why is this a loss of possession and not that previous uh, substitution error, not a loss of possession? Ball was in play. That's it. That's the difference because the ball was in play. United States proceeded to gain an advantage from legal substitution. Possession changes. It's Puerto Rico's ball. It's Natalie Ceballos' ball. It's Sheila Gerardo's ball. It's Adrian Cabrera's ball. It's Puerto Rico's ball. Ceballos over to Gerardo. Gerardo shakes, breaks through. They're going to say a seven meter. They're going to say the defender was inside the six. And it's going to be... A penalty shot for Puerto Rico. And Erica Graciani is coming back in against Santa Wheeler. Checking in again for a penalty shot. And Erica, excuse me. Erica Graciani buries that away. And if my math is correct, it's now a seven goal lead for Puerto Rico. We'll be right back with you in a few short seconds.
Halftime talk is over. Quick basic stats for you all out there. Puerto Rico has shot 19 of 34. Uh, that's uh, 56 percent from the field. Uh, well, 56 percent success rate on shots. The United States. Well, the United States. Has shot 54.5%. As a 54.5% success rate. However, Maria Valone <laughs> saves. Just trying to set her up there, but that is a save there for Kitsa Escobar. And Puerto Rico's in control. Quick pass to the wing. Tripped. Rubeliz Ortiz was tripped, and the rest are going to talk about it. I think this may be a... No, it's just a two minutes. I was thinking this may be a red card, but just a two minute there for Saga. For Saga Norton. And Sophie Fasol will now try and defend the seven meter against Erika Graziani. And Erika Graziani buries it. Again. That's her fifth in seven attempts. A perfect five from seven. And Puerto Rico's up by eight. And Puerto Rico's now switching. Oh, well, it's 4v6, and there's no space. Man, player marking the United States defenders. Puerto Rico's able to break the other way. Natalie Ceballos could not finish that shot off the post. And it's 4v6 right now for the United States. So Puerto Rico is going to extend the defense. It's 5v6 now. You might see Puerto Rico drop back a little bit. Maybe into an extended 5-1. Uh, it's a long 5-1. Now it's an asymmetrical 4-2 with... Uh, Sheila Gerardo standing high against Bruno Lima. Ready? Bruno Lima in the middle. Can't hold on to the ball. Technical fault given. Going the other way. Goal there from number 24, Robles Ortiz. And Puerto Rico is in complete control right now. Lima, Taylor, ready. I think this is the extended 5-1 from Puerto Rico. Bruno Lima met almost immediately. Bruno Lima ducks, tries to go around, breaks through, and scores. That's her first... Mm, excuse me. That's her fourth goal in seven attempts. Puerto Rico trying to break quickly. Gerardo held up by Julia Taylor. Free throw only. Break stop. Puerto Rico have to think about it and uh, run some offense. Ceballos to Cabrera. Cabrera through. That's that's a little easy. That's a bit of an easy goal to give up. But you still got to finish. And Adriana Cabrera just did. And it's plus nine to Puerto Rico. Lot of space right there for Eden Nesper, and she'll bring one back. <laughs> Natasha Escobar will check in now for Puerto Rico. I believe this is the first time she's been in this game. She's going to go in the pivot. The United States is going to play a 5-1 with Emma Reddy at the point position. Ceballos calling the play. Adriana Cabrera. Ceballos. Gerardo. Ceballos. Pivot out. And pivot goes back in as Gerardo makes the move. Wing is open. Can't get the shot off. Gets it up. Pass the play. Is up Gerardo over to the wing. Ooh. And Alanis Benitez, from not the best angle, puts it home. 
Taylor, get you ready. Over to Nesper, wing around. Back to Taylor, tries to make a move into the pivot. Free throw given. Chirarado saying, no, 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 that's a turnover. But ref is saying there's a foul. They're going to keep playing. Eden Nesper from the wing. Great movement there. Great two-player play. And that's Eden Nesper's third goal in three shots. Gerardo can't find the uh, wing end. And Puerto Rico will uh, set something up against this US 5-1. Benitez to Gerardo. To Natalie Ceballos, who's about 16 meters away from goal right now. But Puerto Rico will call a timeout. And they will think about things for the next few seconds. Thirteen twenty-eight left to go in this one. And it's not impossible, but it's going to be very difficult for this U.S. team to make a comeback again. It's not impossible. You've got to... You've got to limit the turnovers. And you've got to generate easy offense. And if they can do that, anything can happen. For Puerto Rico, stay the course, play measured offense, take the breakthroughs when they come. Fancy job. Speaking of, many of these Puerto Rican players, a lot of these Puerto Rican players spent the last year or so playing professionally in Spain, but many of these Puerto Rican players, uh, free throw there, uh, grew up in the Grilleros, Grilleros de Rio Grande program. Save! Sound of Wheeler off the shot there from Erica Graziani. United States can't get a secondary break on. We're going to try and move with pace. Nesper tries to work her way in. Can't get it done. Ready will slow this up. Start things over again. Julia Taylor at left back. Maria Malone at left wing. Taylor. Ready. Nesper on the wing around. Can't find anything. They're going to say, yeah. That's what you want to avoid. That's a turnover. Unforced. Lost her dribble and then dribbled again. Natalie Ceballos, center back, calling the play. Congratulations to her right, number 23, Elizabeth Rodriguez to her left. Pivot out, pivot around. Pass sails over the back. And we're going the other way. United States will have to retake that throw, which is probably for the best. And Santa Rita will restart the action. Taylor, Valone, Taylor. Saved. Long distance pass. Goal scored there by number eight, Joanne Vergata. Save from Kitsu Etzebar, her fifth. And this is a nine goal game with 11 minutes and change left. And that's an even harder task. All right, checking in, I believe for the first time uh, this afternoon is Karen Schulze. Bruno Lima. No offensive foul given. Taylor, ready, Lima, works her way through, shot in the uh, head region, and Kitsa Escobar is down. Trainer is going to come on here. Hate to see it.
speaking as a former goalkeeper, you never want this to happen. Puerto Rican team is checking on uh, Kitz Escobar. Camila Estevez is in checking on her now. And she's going to get evaluated on the sidelines for a bit. All right, United States will have the ball here. And they are going to start over. Zugeli Soto is in at goalkeeper. Taylor. Tries to find the pivot over to the wing. Never mind. Shot scored there by number 18, Moa Liberty Binkson. 16 years old, plays for Kata HF. And I believe Sweden. Fuentes over to Graziani. Graziani tries to break through with a swim move. Can't find any space there. Back to Fuentes. Law is lost. No foul called. Try to find Julia Taylor the break, but it's the leak of Fuentes. Hustles to get that ball back from Puerto Rico. Lisbeth Rodriguez goes left to right, earns the free throw. And the ball off to Natasha Escobar. And Puerto Rico's going to go to game Fuentes. Graziani. Over to the wing. Seven meter earned two minute penalty given to Moa Liberty Binkson. And Erica Graziani is going to come in to uh, take this, is going to take this seven meter yet again. Uh, coming in and goal though is Emily Miamo. <laughs> Graziani buries it for her sixth. All right, in the game for the first time now, Gabrielle Martin at left back over to Emma Reddy. Cross court pass there to Karen Schultze. Gabriel Martin, Emma Reddy, passive play is up. Those of you who haven't figured it out, you've got six passes from the raising of the hands by the referees to get a shot. There are some exceptions to that. Say there's a foul, but you've got to get a shot on target. If there's a progressive punishment that or anything like that, this will stop. But yeah basic situation. You've got six passes. Eden Esper takes the pass for the United States. Couldn't put it on target. Lisbeth Rodriguez. Rico Fuentes. Eko Graziani. Rodriguez over to the wing. Tries to go near post as Joanne Vergar, but can't get it on target. Ready with a lot of space. Saved there by Soto. Play broken up. Brought in control by Santa Wheeler. Sorry for that uh, small delay there. Eden Nesper tries to go in. Gets fouled by Erica Graziani. She wants more than just a foul, but... Ref is, uh, looks a little nonplussed. 
Ready? Nima in at right back right now. Nesper. Nima. Ready. Gabriel Martin. Steps given on Gabriel Martin. Puerto Rico's ball. Zalico Fuentes can't hold on to it. Kick is not called. We've got bodies on the floor. This Buffalo Rodriguez wins the ball. F finds his legal officer. Finds the pivot. Goal scored. Natasha Escobar. And the United States will think about things and call a timeout. Ten goal game here in favor of Puerto Rico. 26-16. And with six minutes left. Any chance of a positive result in the United States' favor looks a little out of reach. Timeout is over. United States is going to try and get some positive momentum going into their next match tomorrow. Ready? Over Cicely Brown now checking in for the first time at right back. Cicely Brown now with the ball. Can't find a left back. Ready? Back to Brown. Vincent Cavallo finds the wing. Wing shoots. Goal scored there by number 18. Moa. Liberty. Bankson. And if you are tuning in from Goldsburg to watch Moa Liberty Bankson play Gutval Allah. Gutval. Going the attack. Adriana Cabrera going in for herself, but can't find the target. Sleep Brown to ready to Carvalho. Over to Moa. Liberty banks in, but this time she cannot put it in on target. Five minutes left to go in this one, but stick around because in about 34 minutes, we're going to have, I'm sorry, get back to as the action continues. Free throw there and a foul on Cabrera. I'm sorry, Escobar, Escobar, restart the game. That's Cabrera to Zlico Fuentes. Finds the wing with the dumb pass. Under the leg and a goal scored there by Robles Ortiz. So stick around after this game because in about 33 short minutes, we're going to have Greenland versus Mexico and, and this evening's nightcap. Ready. Cross pass to Carvalho drops. Going to have to reset up the movement again. Carvalho in the middle. Goes in for herself. Save. Zigeli Soto. That's her third save in the limited amount of time that she's been in. Silomar Ortiz finds the wing. And that shot is a little wide from Joanne Vergata. Oh, the pass from the goalkeeper stolen by Fizuika Fuentes. It's 1v3. She gets it off to the wing. Save. Santa Wheeler makes up for her error. Best way possible. Benta Carvalho through. Save Zugeli Soto. Ready. 
ready. Played almost the whole game so far. Number two in for the first time. Cicely Brown, Emma Ready, out to the pivot. Cicely Brown again finds Tiaja Stewart. Is met hard. They're going to say a seven meter. Given. Joanne Vergara, Joanne Vergara with the foul. She doesn't seem particularly happy by that by that call. Tasia Stewart didn't get a chance to get a shot on goal. But nonetheless, Rossi is a 7 meter. And it's Pinta Carvalho. Gets it in over Zugeli Soto. And Pinta Carvalho shooting 60%. 3 from 5. Orlis Ortiz, Itzinari Cabrera, Sidomar Ortiz, save! Santa Wheeler, Santa looks to break, doesn't find anybody. United States can't find anybody, starts to overload. Binta Carvalho from nine! D did I say three from five? I meant four from six. High wrap there, but it's not considered dangerous free throw given the Puerto Rico. Cabrera finds the wing. Joanne Vergara puts that shot right at Santa Wheeler. United States is trying to secondary break. Joanne Vergara steals that ball. It's 1v2. She's going to try and beat them both. Shoots. Falls. Scores. And a two minutes on top of that. And Joanne Vergara is actually down right now. Two minute penalty given to Cicely Brown for the uh, dangerous defense there. Mm -hmm. Vergara will stay in the game. She got up before uh, any of the officials came on. Although I think even because the officials were called on, she may be asked to sit out the rest of the next three offenses. Technical team is talking over that right now. No ref, ref say it's okay. We're just going to play out the rest of the game here. Twenty-eight nineteen is our score. I, I concur. Twenty-eight nineteen is our score. Saga Norton trying to force her way in there earns a foul. Free throw. US is going to try and get at least one more goal back in here. Skip pass and a goal scored again from Moa Liberty Bankson. And with 30 seconds left to go, this is a solid Puerto Rican victory. And the U.S. has a lot of footage to look back on and prepare for tomorrow's contest. Against Greenland, who we're about to see in a few minutes. Cabrera steps. Mm. Home run ball attempted there for the United States with time running out. Nothing happening, and that will do it.